In the news today, ministry threatens to take action against protesting healthcare workers. A memo issued to all regional health officers by the permanent secretary of the ministry Colette Adams threatened to take action against the workers who participated in unauthorized protests across the country. Please note that the ministry takes these unauthorized industrial actions seriously and members of staff who have engaged in such activity will be dealt with according to the public service rules and regulations, the permanent secretary said in the memo. A car bearing number plate PSS 7357 somehow ended up in a drain. Two-year-old dies after given milk laced with drug. A two-year-old boy died at the Georgetown Public Hospital on Friday, 19 days after he was reportedly given milk laced with methamphetamine, a drug commonly known as Molly. Dead is Ronaldo Dave favorite of Sea Field So Fire, his 25-year-old aunt is currently in police custody. Chief Elections Officer Lowenfield arrested, remained silent, released on station bail. Police headquarters in a statement Saturday said that Lowenfield was arrested and taken to the Criminal Investigations Department, CID, headquarters, Eve Leary, Georgetown and put several allegations to him in the presence of his attorney. After being told of the allegations, Mr. Lowenfield exercised his right to remain silent. Thereafter, a confrontation was held between him and a witness and once again Mr. Lowenfield opted to remain silent, the police report noted. New Demerara Harbor Bridge will be from Nandy Park to LaGrange. Government has decided to build the new Demerara Harbor Bridge from Nandy Park, East Bank Demerara to LaGrange West Bank Demerara. Public Works Minister Juan Edgelay's the request for expressions of interest will be publicly advertised this weekend and the deadline will be in early December. President Irfan Ali Saturday afternoon led a team of engineers to locations at Nandy Park. Seven-year-old suffers broken leg after car tire, blows out vehicle topples several times off-roadway. A seven-year-old girl is now hospitalized with a broken leg after a tire of the vehicle she had been traveling inside of Friday night blew out and toppled several times on the roadway. In addition to the driver of the car, who is a police constable and his 25-year-old fiancé, there were also a three-year-old boy and a four-month-old infant inside of the vehicle when the accident took place.